and welcome back everyone to another training week or it's the competition week this time around uh, last Saturday Sunday we had our Auckland Manukau Championships Auckland Manukau Championships is the last regular competition before nationals and this time around it was the world championships trial for uh, for team New Zealand so this was day one um, all the boys came up from across the land so it wasn't just the Auckland Manukau region it was pretty much again all the seniors in New Zealand um, I did my best to scramble together for a P-Bar and high bar routine. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well. Um, so we'll see that later. But, <coughs> so it's the world's trial. Um, it's the world's trial for our senior athletes, for those that are on the senior national team. Um, it's their chance to get qualification scores towards the world championships. This is Henke. Henke's in level 9. So for him it was more of a trial for nationals. Uh, Tom. Tom's an interesting fella. Tom is from... Uh, actually I forget. It's, it's Napier, I believe. And he's really amazing on floor. Like check that out. 3.5 to finish. And I know that he can punch out of the 3.5. Two and a half, one and a half for third tumble. Um, so Tom usually does harder routines. Uh, you know, you usually see him do a double double in there as well. Uh, but this time he decided to take the uh, you know the watered down approach, and I think he actually scored uh, pretty pretty well compared to when he throws down the big boy skills. So it wasn't too much pressure for me since, well, if I go to Tokyo, I, I won't do the world championships. Um, and if I did decide to do the world championships, then I had uh, m more than enough scores at Oceania. But for the boys, of course, they knew uh, this is the world's trial, so there's a lot of pressure that comes attached with that. Um, day two is when things got really exciting. Um, I probably won't narrate throughout the whole video, but day two, the highlight of the whole weekend, the stick of the week, whatever you want to call it, um, Sammy stuck handspring double front on vault. Anybody in the gymnastics community knows that you kind of got to get lucky it's not just skill but you got to get lucky to stick a hand double front on vault in fact you probably see more stuck handspring double front halves than you do handspring double fronts on vault Come on, Will. so you'll see that uh in the day two day two part will on day two was the top floor scorer uh will and sam uh first step day two floor stuck their dismounts it was a uh, it was a good moment. Hype was real day two. Energy in the air was good. Logan Bow did his Azarian. We're working on putting the Giants in there. So this routine was two Giants, which he can do. And even with a C dismount, um, there's Ben's horse on the side. Logan will be more than ready to compete in the senior ranks for New Zealand. Um, so I'm looking forward to when when all that gets put together. I believe the plan is to add a giant for nationals, which is a, a month or so away. So, in, in New Zealand, the level 9 rules are pretty close to fig rules, but, uh, for example, that swing to handstand, so giant, is not compulsory. So you don't get, you don't get, I think it's a 0.5 deduction for not doing a swing to handstand on rings. Come on, come on. 
Um, Sam was the all-round champion. Uh, only a couple tenths ahead of Jordan O'Connell Lentz from Christchurch. Jordan put together a beastly pommel horse routine day two for a 14-1. Top pommel score for, for New Zealand, I think, ever. Um, so that got him that got him the world's qualification. I'm not sure of the scores, the qualification scores from the top of my head, but uh, things usually sit in the mid 13s to high 13s for the qualifying score. Mid 13s, I'd say. Sam putting that rings together like clockwork now. Nothing difficult for him. Clean, stable routine with uh, with things to put in. I believe yeah. the shoulder is getting better. So uh, just the other day, me and Sammy were talking about putting in that cross, putting in the Nakayama cross for a point three, I think. Not sure how many skills he counts. So if Sam counts nine skills, then he'd get the full value of the Nakayama. If he is counting an A, for a 10th skill, then the Nakayama will be worth 0.3. Will opting to do one Yamawaki this time around, capable of both. But the exciting news is, is that Will is competing giant regularly. It's clear that it's it's not quite stable, but that's where you got to start. You got to start just by trying it out. And the double double has come really good. It's come really nice. That's a new addition. So two new skills in the same year added into a routine for Will. That's awesome. Ben Stein, capable of one and a half on vault. Peter Nichols, greatest second vault. Handspin front, punch front. Unfortunately, no added bonus, but hey. I think that's like the second time he's done that. Wolfu Allen probably going for that stick a bit too hard. We didn't get his vaults from day two. Uh, this is Sam's double front day one. Could have put it up, could have put it up. Like I said, it's new and Sam just needs to get the feel for that landing. Uh, Dominique from North Harbour warmed up a Yuchenko two and a half. Uh, competed a clean double. I believe Dominique got the world's scores on vault. Also, really good on floor. Um, I think day two, Will took out the floor title with a 13-7-3-3. I included all the scores that I knew off the top of my head, but the results uh, weren't up online, so I couldn't really look it up. Sammy was second on floor with a 13-7. Look at that stick. A few times he's done that this season now. And here goes your boy Mish. Um... So I had to wait for apps and I just went too early for that peach. Tried to repeat, but no go. Oh, and then over here. So I've done this before, but never to handstand. <laughs> I caught the bar early and without even thinking just put my hand back onto the second rail. Um, so I was, of course I wasn't happy because it was supposed to be a Makuts but at the same time I was like whoa, that was a pretty nice save. So I went for the 6-2 and I wanted to hit it as clean as I could um, but couldn't do it. Hi bar. Peter, me and Peter talked the other day and we reckon possibly twisting the double layout by nationals could be a fun little project. Peter can also do a catch of um, for point three, but the double at full twist will be point three as well. And the double at full twist just seems more fun than the catch of. He will have to work harder than that if he wants to twist it though because we see that he had to pike down to get that landing. So we'll see if we can get that full twist in in the next few weeks.
Time to straighten out that catch-up, Sammy. We're working it straight. Um, and who knows, maybe by Nationals could be something to throw out for a final. Um, of course, we've got all those hand shifts that are point one, point one for every shift of the hands. But a really clean day for Sam, minus that revolt. I think he was in the mid-76s, so we could be going for, for 70, 77s, no problem. Will still working through a bit of stress on high bar. Um, we decided not to do the catch of. But after a lot of struggle on the dismounts in the last month, probably more than just the last month, he put it in. Bit dodge, that lock legged landing, but way to go, Will, for putting that dismount back in there. High bar. So I tried to put in the Coleman on high bar at Oceania I took it out so this routine I tried Coleman and Zoli Min and I missed the Pagan bit too late same thing as always mi misjudging the speed of the giant I, I know in the moment I have to go soon and I do go sooner, but it's it's not soon enough. Now, one thing I was really happy with was my feet together in a Coleman. And that was extremely conscious. I, I like still remember that very moment where I'm reaching, I'm reaching to the bar and that memory kicks in to hold the legs together. And that felt really cool. A little scruffy on this catch. Um, so I felt like if I didn't fall, I think I would have had the fitness to pull it off. Because um, the rest of the routine was pretty solid. Stuck the dismount. 12.5. 12.5. 5. 12 wasn't too upsetting because one point for the fall would have put me 13.5, but then you lose half a point for the pagan. 0. 0.6, but, but I would counter A instead of the pagan so technically 0.5 and the 14 score on bar um, you know that's that's legit I think only a few years ago uh, 2017 was it uh, the, the high 13s made high bar final not that it will make a diff uh, the final probably this time around but um, yeah ex ex excited to hit it excited to see what happens if I hit it Jordan with that nice double double. The day finished with Ben Stein on high bar. Um, I'll just let you watch it till the end. It's not over, Ben. Come on. Over. Adam Boy. Sam's reaction over there on the left. Tragic, the pin off. I think Ben Ben took the tap too deep. Took the Chinese tap too deep and uh, conscious or unconscious, I don't know, but you know, when you sense that, whoa, I might hit the bar, this is this is too late. Yeah, your hands, just they just want to come off. Um, but big props to, first of all, still trying to do the full twist even after you pin. And then second of all, having a relatively safe landing after a pin as well. So thank goodness pin was okay. And uh, on day two, he came back really well to hit, uh, to finally hit the floor set that he's capable of hitting. Um, I believe he was in the high 12s, mid to high 12s, I forget. But it was good to see him hit this routine. And of course, he's capable of, of more difficulty. Um, but as we're learning, as we're learning these days it's, it really is better to go clean Wolf Allen, floor champion that's an easy point at least point three probably more than point three 
So he could have been in a 14. Breathing while breathing. When you're scoring 14s, you, you know you're good. 13s is like, you know, pretty clean. Decent difficulty. 14s is like, pretty good difficulty and pristine routine. 15s is, there's that stick. 15s is like, you're just, you're at the next level. You're at the top of the world. So the level 9s, John's in the level 9s, they compete on a different uh, order than us. We were on at the same time, but it was difficult for me to film both because they were on a different apparatus. But John's now working towards that double front dismount to eventually turn it into a double pike for a D. Uh, we're close to Maltese. And uh, John did do uh, Yonason, the Pike Yamawaki day one, which they didn't pay. Um, I thought it should have got credit, but it didn't get credit, so we took it out day two. Peter took out Roth day two and finally hit a routine, so that was good to see. And Will hit his pommel two days in a row. I think we'll ask the judges afterwards so what, because he got like a 12 for, you know, like his swing is clean. There isn't any big mistakes. Start value is a 14, I believe, Come on, Will. and still two points off. And it sounded like the dismount got slammed for that use of strength and the point three just for the A scissors. So I think day two he actually got a bit higher. Here's Geordie's 14.1, another world's qualification score. So Will and Sam, I didn't get Sam's floor from day two. Forgot what I was doing, but uh, Sam got a 13.7. So Will and Sam got the qual score on floor. Jordan got it on horse. I think Sam got it on vault. And Dom might have got the vault on, score. I think that's it. Hey. Boom. Nice. Good job, Jordan. 14-1. John with a clean full twist on vault. We're starting to double that in the training gym, and here it is. It's not every day you see that happen at your home club. Um, I, I wish I had a longer version because the whole arena erupted for like a solid 20 seconds after that. Um, day two, let's see what I did. Got the connection this time. And I remember what happened. I came off here. It was weird, it's like my arms just didn't work. Repeated it. Got the Makuts this time, which was pleasing. And then they don't have that juice in the front of prize, so I'm thinking, what do I do? What do I do? I'm not going to repeat it. And at this stage, um, might as well just do basket and press for a BB instead of doing a and more for a C. So, start value would have been a bit lower, but uh, you know, at that point, you just the routine was over, so just finish as clean as you can. High by 12.5, so I got 12.5 both days for virtually an identical routine. That was a bit closer to catching So I'm being really conscious with the knees. They're still bending in the taps, but I am doing my best to straighten them. 
again this Coleman was oh, pretty clean feet were more or less together on the catch probably not not noticeable to the judges that tiny split of the toes when I'm reaching the bar I think this catcher was a bit clean on the catch the knees were straight there in the tap as well I was a bit lower though so it looks like I probably would have got more deduction for the quast but less deduction on the catch -up. stuck to this man again 12-5 so better luck next time and Ben came back to well I'll just keep it a surprise um, okay I feel like I'll leave it there thank you for watching and until next time. Yeah. Push. Yeah. yeah let's go now. Come on, man. Come on. You got this.